Okay, hello there everyone and welcome to another episode of Shame Buffet, episode 06, Adulting, or lack of, in our case at least, at least in mine. Uh, joining me today is going to be my co-host Vasca at vspotscats on twitter.com and Yolti at Yolti Dragon on twitter.com. Um, and myself, Arthur Husky at Leo Magna on twitter.com. Okay, we're going to start off this week with catching up. What did you guys do this week? Vasca? Let's see. Well, he last night went out, had a little uh, show at a club last night. Buddy Pepper was playing his band, so we went. And, no, that was cool, cool. Um, after the fact, we went to a nice uh, brewery and had some drinks, and it was very tasty. Mm. Uh, let's see. On Friday, I went to like my first like high school football game in like forever. And wow! It was good. Yeah, it was a good time. Especially, I mean, I guess a, a Southwest kind of football game compared to like Minnesota. It's like it's way like hyped down here compared to up there. It's like they had like advertising and everything, and like thousands and thousands of people, and it's like it's crazy. But it was good times, you know. We snuck in a little gin and we're sipping on that <laughs> game and, uh, yeah, it was uh it was good times i you know what i that would make high school football a little bit more bearable absolutely uh it, it was i mean it was horrible but you know with the uh with the uh the white lightning it was good <laughs> yeah well that kind of makes everything better what about you brady what were you up to this week before we get on to uh, that conversation, what are we drawing? <laughs> oh, I will tell you as this goes on, because I've got a very fun <laughs> story about being an adult and dealing with other adults' customer service. Oh, man children. Okay. Oh, uh, well, no, uh, no. <laughs> we'll get to that. Boy. All in due time, Brady. All in due time. <laughs> well, I made my first pulled pork butt on Friday for the first time in like a year. Oh, so that was fun. Um, I also did the cuff thing later on in the Friday evening. It was it was fun, interesting. I got a little, I drank a little bit, went shirtless. Uh, there were people there that didn't like me. Mm -hmm. I was like, ah, screw these guys. I was having fun. Mm -hmm. that, that fun. That's all Giving that drunk hugs to everyone is the best thing ever. Oh, you just be careful though. You might get punched in the face. Cause you don't, you don't. You're very bad at like understanding no. Because Brady apparently, Brady no means no. So if someone doesn't want to get hugged, don't hug them. Yeah. Yeah. No, my number is no. You know, I'll see enough scuffles over that. Yeah. Yeah. No. yeah, yeah, for real. Like no means no, Brady. <laughs> don't hug me means don't hug me. Um. <laughs> Jesus. Now, for, for me, it was a pretty... No, it's not. <laughs> no, that's, that's not what that means at all. Oh, yeah. oh Jesus. Now, uh, for me, I mean, like, the weekend was pretty normal. I got some drawing done. Um, I, w I went back to Office Depot. It was actually really weird because I, I was out getting some copies, and I was talking to the copy guy, and he was like, oh, well, we just lost a copy guy, so we're kind of short staff. And I'm like, oh, well, actually, I used to do this, like, two months ago, so... If you're still looking for someone, I'll pick up the I'll pick up the shift. And lo and behold, that caused like I ended up doing an 11 and a half hour shift yesterday, and I was just like, oh my god, I don't think I signed up for that. <laughs> like, what did I do to myself? So um, it, that's just basically been my week, just drawing and and uh, working. Oh, uh, we finally finished chapter one of Vasca's comic book that got uploaded. Yeah. Yeah, well, huh? We put it all up on uh, Fur for, for Affinity. I've never gotten so many hits and likes on my Fur Affinity page oh, whatsoever. Same here. It was oh, crazy. Uh, I caught it on uh, U18chan, which was Yeah, weird. but, you know, since it got posted on online, I, I didn't really care if it got reposted anyways. Yeah. But, yeah, like, between when I posted it and now, it's gotten literally, like, 1,200 likes and favorites. And then what? just, like, serious? Nice. Yeah. Yeah, crazy. yeah. I was like, okay, well, I guess furries like Every porn. Every day I open up my page and it's just like <laughs> pages, like likes. It's like, oh my goodness. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. So so that was that was pretty cool. I I realized that I actually end up liking working on comic books a little bit more, but let me let me tell you another part of the adulting that we're going to get into a minute is learning patience. I've had commissioners commission me that I'm like, oh, well, I want this done and that done and that done. And they message me the next day like, well, what's the progress? I'm like, I haven't even started yet. Like, I, this is what? I am not a printer for your brain, sucker. This is not how that works. So, so yeah, uh, comic books give me a little bit more leeway because I'm like, you know, it's going to take a minute. It doesn't get printed. Even Marvel Comics takes a month to print something between now and then. Yeah. So, and I'm just one guy, man. So, cut <laughs> me some slack. But yeah, our topic for the week is adulting. The three things we like and the three things we absolutely hate about it. About being an adult. You want to start us off, Brady? <laughs> Why me? <laughs> because you're the one that we're like, we're going to talk about adulting and stuff. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's adulting, not adultery. The quite a different, uh, yeah, quite a different if I topic. To say, let's start off with the don'ts. Uh, well, then start off with the your don'ts. With the current generation we live in, Uh-oh. a lot of us have that mind school or high school uh, mindset, mind school. <laughs> um, and it's a lot that I've been seeing lately. What do you mean? You know exactly what I'm talking about. No, I don't. That's why I'm asking. High school mindset? Oh, yeah, definitely with this generation now. I mean, mm, yeah. it's something else. I mean, oh, God. like, they've never left high school. We're, we're going to put a pin on this conversation because I'm going to go back to that because I think one of the things that I absolutely hate about growing up is sounding like my parent. This generation just <laughs> doesn't appreciate how good it has it. <laughs> like, this generation is just impatient. And I'm like, maybe I am just getting old. <laughs> yep. uh -oh. But like, what is like the generation now? Is it like Generation Y or what is it? No, the new millennials or whatever. No, new, know, like, we're on the new millennials. On the millennial thing. No, I, I don't. Much stuff about it now. Oh man, wait. So what generation are we then? I thought we were the millennials. I think I'm. I'm. Gosh, I think my generation X still. I don't know. That's why I'm asking. I still, actually, I still maybe. Yeah, I think I'm Generation X, but you're not. Is my generation millennials? You know, millennials? <laughs> I, I have no idea. X, and there's like, how do you specifically define millennials? I don't get it. I I don't <laughs> I don't either. I don't I don't think I've cared enough in my age to just look at what a millennial is. Maybe someone someone who was um, born in this century, like if you were born in 2000 and upwards as a millennial, that would make sense to me. Yeah, I'm a proud child of the 90s, so. I grew up with all that good stuff. Backstreet Boys, Britney Spears. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Um, you with it? Yeah, yeah. Will Smith's uh, one-time <laughs> singing career. Oh, man. Welcome to Miami. Muno was born in 1995. Damn, I feel old. I feel <laughs> old all of a sudden. Hey, 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 watch it. I was 81. Come on now. Oh, you wait. You're older than I am. Yeah. Wow. I didn't do that. Damn. I, yeah, okay. Well, I feel a little bit better now. Let's <laughs> continue on the conversation. No, um, okay. So, here, the, the reason I'm like, the three things you like, because the three th things that are great about being an adult. One, I can get up whenever the fuck I want. I can eat as much bacon as I can possibly do. And no one but my doctor will tell me that I'm <laughs> doing something wrong. And the third time, uh, booze. Booze and sex. They kind of go hand in hand. There's no, like, shame about it anymore. And yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah, if I had enough money to rent a hooker every night, I would. Because that's what an adult can do, if they really want to. Oh. And it takes a little bit more effort to lose weight. That's hey, we're, we're, we're on the good part about being an adult. I haven't yeah, even started about the bad part. The bad <laughs> part about being an adult is treating with older adults. Because as you're a kid and you blow off someone, it's, you know, oh, silly kid antics, wah, 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 boys be boys. But when you're an adult, you have to actually be careful about what you say because, you know, you can get sued, you could get sent I'm... to prison, you can get fired from your job. So dealing with other adults kind of sucks. That's, that's like the one thing for me. <laughs> you can't go around pinching someone's nipples. 
Yeah, <laughs> in front of their bosses. That's frowned upon no. when you're an adult. <laughs> yeah, Can't have I mean, fun. It, it it works in yeah the comic world, but yeah, not in a uh, real life. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> What about you, Vasca? Top threes and low fours. Okay, so top threes would probably, you know, own money. Mm -hmm. You know, you have your own money, you're making your own money, so you don't have to, like, ask permission for anything. You can just, you know, do what you want. Um, two would be just be able to come and go as you want. I mean, you can travel. You don't have to ask permission once again. Mm -hmm. Go anywhere. That's great. Um, and three, about being an adult. Probably, like you said, just like, you know, freedom, you know, sexual-wise, you know, you don't have to worry about any issues or problems, especially in our generation now, the way things are now, it's a lot more open-minded, and, you know, you can pretty much do what you want, and people don't frown upon it as much anymore, and so that's, you know, the nice thing about being an adult True. this day and age. I'll still call um, you a hooker, though, but, I mean, that's just because we're friends. <laughs> Okay. Well, that's perfectly acceptable then, as long as it's between friends. <laughs> there you go. Say <laughs> uh, so, like the lows. Uh, probably number one is you know, as an adult, you have to do things you don't want to because you have to. Yep. Um, that's probably the biggest thing is having to you know, that's the biggest thing about being an adult. You have to do that. You have to work a job that you possibly don't like, or you possibly have to deal with people you don't like, and you have to. And there's nothing yep. you can do. So. Mm -hmm. uh, number two would be. What? Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, it sucks because you can bust your ass over stuff and. Oh. Uh, people having no patience, like Arthur said, and being unappreciative. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, number two. I just had it on top of my head, and now I, I, I lost track. Yeah, Brady. Um... Jesus. <laughs> um. Number two lows would probably be metabolism. Okay, you know, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's a biggie. It's like I definitely have to work it a lot harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah for real. Just, or like eating stuff and it automatically just piles on like after like a day of eating wrong. Uh -huh. that's, uh, that's a biggie. I hate and that. Then... <laughs> uh, then I see where lastly... this image is going. You know the worst part about that though? It's because like... What? You finally learn how to cook, and then you realize everything you fucking cook is going to make you fat. And you're like, God damn it. That is like the worst <laughs> joke that the universe can play with you. I can actually cook a fucking cake and not burn the kitchen, yeah. but if I eat the cake, I'm going to be fat. So, damn well, it. Like my case, like when I finally had like a, a physical, and like the doctor was like, you know, your cholesterol is like horrible. I was like, what? Like, <laughs> what? Wow. <laughs> <Need> more Cheerios. <laughs> right. Like, so, yeah. I mean, I, I had to go on this stupid Lipper tour for like 90 days. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Jeez, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. So, so that was that, that was eye-opening to like my age and like, you know, how things need to change now. So ever since then, it's been, you know, changing uh, changing my diet and working out a lot more. And it's, it's helped. I cut everything down by half so, or more than half. I, I promise you guys. I promise you guys that if I ever... <laughs> If I ever go to the doctor and he tells me that I have to go on Metamucil for like a week, I'm buying both of you guys a bottle of tequila and I'm getting shit-faced in this entire stream. That's just all what we're going to do. If I ever get put on Metamucil, we're no, drinking the entire day. Huh? <laughs> I'll puke up all over your house. Well, you know what? If I'm going to be getting it out one end, might as well take advantage of take it out the other two. So, okay. you know, cleansing both sides. Yeah, for the I'm gonna purge uh, everything. <laughs> Jesus. At, least at one point in your life, you'll be able to see me puke. Uh, I haven't. I I've haven't seen you puke. Anything. You've puked in my house before. No, I haven't. It was you, in the toilet. Yeah. And do you think the door is closed? <laughs> no. Is? Yeah. No oh, shit, dog. <laughs> oh, at least you didn't see me at F. At what was it? At FC puking. Oh, that was so horrible. Ah, I, I missed him. Embarrassed about it. I missed a bit too much at FC for my own good. Though I don't do weed, because then I just feel like it's, I feel like I just need to lay down and do nothing, and it's horrible. Gosh, the last time it was not because of alcohol, it was because of Stop Taco adulting. Bell. <laughs> like back in like last fall, I had like some Taco Bell, and that just totally killed me for like three days. Like, you, it might have not been you. It might have just been the Taco Bell. 
Well, that's what I'm saying. It was a Taco Bell. Like, I, I had it, and then, like, for three days, Taco I Bell. was, like, throwing up. Yeah. It was horrible. <laughs> that was, like, the last time. It's like cardboard. A taco. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of fun. It really is. But okay, it's not okay. even Mexican. <laughs> It's absolutely true. It, taco, but but when it's two a.m. and you just got out of the club and you're drunk as hell, it's like the tastiest thing ever. I, just know, I think they something. advertised it as the midnight munchies. They yeah. they really did. They're the oh, ones oh, that started that, didn't they? Hello. Yeah, I think actually they did, like the late night. Yep. Yeah, late. They they, the whole late. The or was it Jack in the Box that did the munchy box? It was they one of those. Munchy box. Jack in the Box had the munch. Late night munchies. I know box. back in Virginia they advertised it as the midnight munchies on a uh, on the radio. Oh. Uh, it's stoners. Man. Stoner mm. box. The stoner box, that's what it should be called. I just remember those Jack and Boss commercials of like the stoner. Little <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. Gosh. Okay, so let's go enough number three for downer. <laughs> mm. I think it would have to be just like actually having to be responsible. It's like when you're a kid, you can do anything, and it's like not your responsibility. It's the responsibility of your parents. Yeah. And, like as an adult, now like anything you do, you're culpable for. Like kind of what you know, Husky brought up one of his things. It's like <laughs> anything you say could uh... be held against you in a court of law now that you're over 18. Mm-hmm. Freaking ravioli oh. and ramen. Well, I don't think that's very responsible. There was um, there was this one coworker, not coworker, student when I was uh, when I was studying, and she had a kid, right? And I was like, all right, well, what's your parent story? Like the moment you realize you're a parent, and she was like, well, I was sitting down with my kid, and and we were having breakfast, and my kid was like, well, I want to eat gummy bears, and she was like, no. And the kid was like, well, why can't I have gummy bears? And she's like, because they're not good for you. And the kid was like, I don't understand. I want gummy bears. And then mom was just like, you can't have gummy bears. And the kid's like, I want gummy bears. And she's like, no, because mommy said no. And then she was like, <laughs> I've become my mother. <laughs> I'm just like, that's like the worst <laughs> feeling. <laughs> when you're like, that's the same shit my parents used to tell me. Yep. Cause I, know, I, I know I walk around the house. And now that I have to pay my own utility bills, I go around and I'm like, that light shouldn't be on. And I turn on the lights and I'm like an old man, oh, just walk around, turn on the lights. And if it's winter and the, and the heating is on, I go around shutting all the windows and I'm like, I look like a crazy man. But that's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> you damn kids, you're letting the heat out. <laughs> God damn kids. God damn kids. Uh, God damn husband. I was like, you, you make me feel <laughs> like know. your parents. Because, yeah, man child. I was like, you're making me feel like your parent. Because I'm like, yeah, you have to close down the windows because you're letting the heat out. And I feel really fucking old. All right. So I got I to gotta tell you guys the story about why I'm drawing this. Because that was like my, my one customer service experience where I realized, oh, dear Lord. So I, I worked at, a, at an office max. And I, so I had to deal with old people buying printers all the time. And this old lady came in with a printer, you know, and and she plops on the printer and she's like, well, I can't get it to work. I kind of I want to get a new, another one. I'm like, all right, let me let me see what's wrong with it. And then I'll see if I can fix it. If not, we'll just trade it for you. So I plop down the printer and and I plug it in and the printer turns on just fine. It does the like any normal device. Now it does goes through like a setup where it asks you to insert the cartridges, right? And it's so I'm like, okay, well, once you put in the cartridges, you just hit start on the machine, and it just runs. And the lady hadn't realized it was a touch screen. She was still looking for the button. <laughs> That's what she couldn't get it to work. <laughs> so I was like... Was that recently? Oh, that, was, that was like three months ago, four months ago. And I was just like, oh, dear God. Yeah, she was just like, she never realized that it was a touch screen. So she was looking for all the buttons to push. And I was just like, oh, my God. Well, no wonder you were never going to get it to work. Oh, and then it gets better because she was like, she bought this printer specifically because she wanted a wireless printer. Because she had an old printer. She wanted to get rid of the wires. So mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, well, I'll walk you through how to set up your wireless, your wireless network. You just go here on the touch screen, by the way, and you just pick your wireless network. I'm going to pick the Office Depot one just to show you that you just need to put in the password. So I put in the password and then she's like, oh, well, I don't have internet. <laughs> and I'm like, 
And I was like, well, your your wireless printer won't work without a wireless network. And she's like, can't yeah. I just borrow yours? And I'm like, no, you can't. Oh. Just you can't just take our Office Depot wireless network and take it to your house or borrow it. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, awesome. and it was a 45 minute conversation I explaining the internet and wireless networks to this poor old lady. And I was like, this is that Geico commercial where I'm like, this is not how this works. This is not how any of this works, <laughs> old lady. And I was just like, oh dear God. Oh, dear not God. nationwide. Nation was it nation one? It was one of those two. So nationwide we're on your side. <laughs> yeah, or what Jesus. was it? Till you crash and they up State the rates. Farm. State farm. State farm? Like no, it, yeah, there you go. State, State farm, farm is there. there. So yeah, that that was my, my one. I'm an adult, but I'm not that much of an adult because I still understand technology. So I'm not that old <laughs> yet. I know what a wireless network is. I might not know what dabbing is, but I know what wireless network is. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. Oh, by the way, um, RuPaul's Drag Race won an Emmy. RuPaul herself won an Emmy. Oh, so what? Yeah. For nice. Best Outstanding Show. So go Mama Ru. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Unexpected, yeah. actually. Not, not that. They were fucking snubbing her. That was, she needed to have won an Emmy like two years ago. So yeah, I need to watch that show. You really do. It's a great show. I know. I need, yeah, knowing me, you know me well enough that I, I would enjoy that. <laughs> mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I do love myself mm -hmm. a good drag queen on the weekends. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm but yeah. By the way, we need to start doing something else on weekends. The yeah. Soon, soon just isn't cutting it anymore. Yeah, our local gay bar finally. We yeah, we do need to. I'm still saying if we get fifty bucks on the chat as donations, we'll go to. Steamworks and I will report on everything, absolutely okay. everything. So that's a to-do list. We'll set it on the goal. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Brady had his first um, gay Steamworks. What is it? Like a sports club or something? I don't. I don't know what, what the, they. The no, the Steamworks. They categorize it like a men's bath. Men's bathhouse. There you go. Oh, fun, fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They call it something. They don't. They don't say it's like a hookup joint. It's just it's a men's bathhouse. It's classy. Yes, yes it is. It's <laughs> it has rooms. It's got rooms. Yes, because it sounds much better when you're like, "What did you do this weekend? I got a room at the men's bathhouse." You got a room, yeah. <laughs> I got a room at the men's any place, bathhouse. Any place that charges by the hour. I mean, <laughs> yeah, know, they, like, <laughs> they have things like slings and. Yes, Video monitors yes. and cameras. Oh, it's fun. I yeah, imagine. but that's not polite conversation. You don't say that. You just say it's a men's bathhouse. Yeah. Because you're classy. It's a gentleman's club. There you go. A gentleman's club. Man, but yeah. We have a few over here. Oh, what? What? A few of those over here. Oh, yeah. Here in Phoenix. You probably, you guys probably have a steam work somewhere around there. And most major cities have one. I know Seattle, San, Fran San Francisco, New York, and Chicago, and Los Angeles have one. Oh, that would be fun. We have, we have mm -hmm. one in L.A.? I have not been to the one in L.A. I've only been to the one in Chicago, and it's massive. It's like a four-story building, giant jacuzzi, Ooh. giant sauna, all that good stuff. They actually have a workout room where you can go. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's the very little part of it. Are clothes required? No, I don't think any. I saw anybody wearing clothes in there. Yeah, mm -hmm. I took my friend. Uh, he was he was like a baby gay, and he didn't even know what to do with himself. He we were all drunk, and he was kind of like eye candying everywhere. And he ended up sucking off someone and then masturbating <laughs> in one of the oh. in, in like the stairway. <laughs> I can laugh. Oh man. The other one dove in head first. He was in the middle of an orgy and he couldn't walk straight for like two days. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, you did it. Right. He he. Certain people did a lot of things right to him. Yeah. <laughs> Chicago left oh, a I'm hole that no one could fill. Ago. Huh? <laughs> I met a cute boy not so long ago. Ah, uh, the yeah, last one I'm. I, I loved it. Oh, good lord. Okay. Well, yeah. What's the story, Brady? If you're going to bring it up, you better bring give us details. Otherwise, don't bring it up. Right. He was a little twink. 19. I loved it. Mm. Those are the old ones. not very interesting, though. Well, no, he's uh, 19. 
Yeah. Yeah. She's, she just figured out that he can get out past 10 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so true. Oh, that's yeah. one of the other weirdest things that, like, the, my new job was, like, everybody's, like, a high schooler. I'm like, God, all of a sudden, like, I was like, oh, hey, can you help me out? Just, like, help me with the cutter, the machine that cuts, like, reams of paper. I'm I was like, oh, enough. I can't. Yeah, I literally, it was like, I'm not old enough to operate. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm like, oh, shit. What? Yeah, he was like 17, high schooler. I'm like, oh, man, I'm working with How high schoolers. How's he not old enough to operate it? Because he was not 18. Yeah. Oh, he was 17. Gross. Yeah, so he has to be 18 to operate the machine that could potentially take off your arm. Yeah, Makes sense. Like the trash compactors, like yeah. the carbo compactors. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, you had to be patient to use them. I feel like this old lady needs some pearl necklaces. Because old ladies, oh, for some yeah. reasons, need pearl necklaces. They need tears. What? No. Have, it, haven't tears. you ever bumped into an old lady who's like, Oh, I got this beautiful pearl necklace from my husband. He bought it for me last anniversary. <laughs> and you're like, ah, Your husband gave you a pearl necklace. That's hilarious. I have the mind of a five-year-old. Yes, I have totally challenged, yep. but it's hilarious. Uh, there was this one professor that I had, bless his heart, he was like 70-something, and his thing was that he walked around the classroom to make sure that everybody was taking notes and awake, and uh, <laughs> there was this one time he just stopped in the middle of the room, and he like panted for a little, and he was like, I'm sorry, uh, you guys, I had to take a little break, my knees were kind of hurting, I'm just not used to being on my knees as some of you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, oh man! Uh, no, it was like he was fine. Just the way he said it, it was hilarious. Cuts old people and being on their knees. It's kind of a gross image now that I think about it too much. But anyways, yes. <laughs> Brady got it. Took him a minute. Yeah. You know what we should do this weekend, though, if it if they could if they do it this Saturday, is go to the local Rocky Horror Picture Show. I've been, I've had that thing stuck in my mind for like forever. I actually have it downloaded. I'm debating on whether or not to show it during the party next weekend. No, 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 no. You don't you don't you don't show Rocky Horror. You go to the Rocky Horror Picture Show. It's not the same if it's not in the theater. They got the remake coming out on Halloween. I. Chose not yep. to acknowledge yep. that that thing exists. Yep. Yeah, well, I choose to exist that that thing won't exist. Because <laughs> I don't really want to think of anybody doing the job of Tim Curry other than Tim Curry. <laughs> yeah. I... Man. But, yeah, no, you've never been to the Rocky Horror Picture Show when it's in a theater, have you? I have not. Yeah, that's that's why it's. You need to see it in a theater with a live cast, otherwise it doesn't count. That's <laughs> literally a rule. Yeah. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah, they do it over here at the at the local theater every other weekend. So we just got to find out if they're doing it this weekend or the weekend after, or something like that. All right. But That'll this work. uh this weekend's your party though, so wouldn't be able to do it on e anyways. This Saturday. You said they do it. You said they do it this weekend. I don't know. I haven't looked. Oh, that'd be interesting. Yeah, it would be fun. But I don't know. what are your plans for the week, Vasca? Mm, not nothing really planned at the moment. Uh, maybe get in some like cool time before things start cooling off too much. Enjoy that this week, I think. Cooling off too much in Arizona. Well, the pools now. Oh. Uh, I was you know, gonna say cooling off in Arizona. Chilly. <laughs> so you know, a nice uh, fun swim time uh, might be ending here not too long, sadly. Yeah, it dropped. This week. It's it, it's starting to get cold out here. Um, it dropped to like the fifties, forties this weekend, something like that. Ooh, that, that'll be nice. No, so, screw you. Fuck that. That's cold. I like going oh, outside and just to teach. That's enjoyable. No. In the upper 90s well, over here. Oh, good God, that's I have a freaking long. server, pretty much a server farm in my room, and it's like heating my room. I don't like it. No, I have to. I, I actually had to like wake up my car the other day, just let it warm up for a couple minutes. I'm like, that sucks. I hate doing that. <laughs> just killing yeah, five but... minutes in my car. 
because the thing right. won't start, <laughs> won't run if I don't. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, yeah. Next weekend. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm planning on finally taking my mom out for her birthday brunch. So. Finally. Go on probably Saturday. Yeah, her birthday was on the first, but just she hasn't been able to. We haven't been able to like meet up and do it because she's been like traveling or busy or whatever. So. Hoping to uh. Uh-huh. Her out. It's coming Saturday. And then Sunday I have a furry brunch in the morning. Furry brunch. Yeah. Okay, that might be fun. Are they social? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it's, a, it's you know it's a good group of older you know furs you know in their late twenties I want to say and somewhere even up I want to say into like the forties. Are they old. cute? That's one of the questions. Um. Look at you, Hooker. <laughs> They're not even no. in the same state, and you're asking if they're cute. What? I'm interested. Yeah, Somebody get a cup yeah. of water for this thirsty bitch over here. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> uh, he just has to come out and see for himself. That's, that's the thing. Jesus, Brady. What? But, what? I mean, now that you've asked, are they cute, though? Yeah, a chunk, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, definitely, yeah. I'd say. I had no problem. Oh, dude, that, that's actually one of the things, like, since they shut down uh, Rainforest, the local furry convention, I'm like, man, I need another thing to look forward to for September, November kind of an area. There's, it's just a dry spell from now until further confusion, furry-wise. The next big thing I got going on is Halloween, but, you know, uh, you know how that goes. Yeah, well, we have AZ FurCon coming up here at the end of the month. So that's true. That. That's going to be a good time. I got a, a buddy from from uh, out east come and stay with me for about a week. So that's oh, be fun. fun. Yeah. Should be. Here. He's leaving his, uh, his mate behind, so we'll see how that goes. Mm. But, but yeah, he's his mate's in school. So, or I shouldn't say mate. It's actually they're, they're married. So husband is husband. <laughs> yeah, I'm going good. to get drunk this weekend and see where things take me. Hey, hey, uh, hey Brady. Brady, just as an FYI, if you're the host of the party, you can't get drunk. It's mm-hmm. like a oh, thing. Yeah, that's the sad part. Then, yeah, because you got to make sure that people good. don't steal your goddamn projector again. <laughs> because let me tell you, if I if I get there and you're passed out drunk, I'm going to steal your projector on principle. Oh, this is like no. stupid bitch. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to drink this week and see where things take me. The weekend, I'm gonna have the party. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, I might have a beer too. That's about it. Yeah. That that I'm should be a fun. Huh? Oh yeah, you were brewing beer. I yeah, gotta try that. Up. That's fermenting right now in the uh, the cooler right now. Man, so I gotta I gotta do some beer. I probably I kind of want to do some beer to take to FC. Hey, that's good. Yeah. 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 Going to FC my first time. We there was a person that brought like five gallons of homemade honey mead. Um, I think a lot of us just like got hammered off that. Pep's blue ribbon. Wasn't it your first year uh, last this year? Yeah, it was. It was the last one that uh, that like uh, that was here. Um, oh, it's when I introduced you to my DJ buddy. Oh God, no! Let me not get started on the topic of furry DJs. <laughs> That is my <laughs> pet peeve. Game no, no, it's like let me let me play this uh, song for you. It's Eastern German European techno pop that no one's ever heard of, and I'm like, that's because it sucks. <laughs> no one's fucking heard of it because it's not good. <laughs> so, so yeah, and I, uh, it's my pet peeve. I, I've, I've in my drunken stupor at every con that I go to, I always end up talking to a DJ or something. I'm like, oh well. Do you play anywhere else other than Furcons? No. Do you go out dancing? No. How do you feel about top 40s? I hate <laughs> them because they're popular. And I'm like, oh, I don't really want to listen to your set, dude. Like, eh. You're playing music that you want to hear and hope that everyone agrees as opposed to playing for someone else. I mean, the DJ's role in a, in a dance yeah. is to make people get up and want to dance. Oh. So if you're exactly. playing Ramstein... There will be probably three other people dancing, but you know the rest of us will be like. Uh... If you're playing Justin Bieber and trying to troll the crowd, then you're not going to get anywhere very far. Okay, depends on the Justin Bieber song though, because 
even I have you to admit, there. some of those are pretty fucking good. You were there. Baby, 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 oh. No, he... he, he... No. Well, he put out another one that I didn't even know was Justin Bieber until someone told me, and I was, like, really upset because I really like that song. It's a recent one, too. And and that was, like, the weird part about it. I was like, oh, I liked this song until someone told me it was Justin Bieber, and now I feel self-conscious. Although, having now seen oh, the pictures of Justin Bieber naked, I'm like, hmm, might give him a second chance. Not bad, huh? Not yeah. bad. No, don't give that little bit just a chance. Well, I don't like him for his personality. The body's fine. Ah, oh, come on. Don't tell me if you met a kid that looked like that naked, you wouldn't be like, hey, what's up? <laughs> you would, Brady, and you know it. No, I wouldn't. Not not him. I'm not saying him. I'm just saying someone that looked like him. You uh, would. I'd be thinking of him, and I'd be like, no. You're uh, lying. You're a liar. I'm not lying. You I'm are. Not lying. I'm not lying. Totally lying. I don't believe him. There's like freaking press Elvis Presley freaking haircut thing acting like a complete douchebag. <clears throat> yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> his, his head has much to be desired. What about the back of his head? That's not as bad. <laughs> I mean, what, that's usually nice close <laughs> slap. <laughs> down below, yeah. Jeez. Slap the back of his head. <laughs> I'm sure he's well uh, well groomed and everything too. Uh, not according to the pictures. Check oh, online. Well, I you never saw behind really. Those photos were really great from like. Oh oh well, <laughs> Jesus. All right, I guess all of us need a tall drink of water because the thirst in this fucking channel is real. So it is. <laughs> he can... They were <laughs> all. Oh man. Your, your buddy posted them. Oh wait, what? Oh, and just how his buddy posted those. Oh, that woman posted those photos. His friend. Oh, oh yeah, I know that. That's a friend you need to have certain words with. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Like the world knows about me now. Yeah. Well, maybe that's why he's kind of popular. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, any word, any any words of advice to the youth of tomorrow about how to be a better adult and what to avoid? Stay in school. Uh, all right. Up. Does just stay in school and grow up? Man, that's simple. <laughs> um, oh, let's see. Um, yeah, I up, I was expecting. No, we need more people in high school. We need more people studying you know, more. You grow up like read, read high school read mood. A book. Definitely read books. Like don't like get all your information from the interwebs and read from the interweb. Get an actual book. Get an actual novel. And, like read. Expand your mind. Just don't run everything off of wow. Your whole life is all about wow. <laughs> like, I haven't even play World of Warcraft. But that's all I hear about. It's like World of Warcraft is like that's life and that's how life should be. It's like no, nope, there's no ogres running around that you can like you know kill in the real world. So yeah, you better like read a book. Yeah. Right. I've I've met some people who are like oh, I read I read on my phone I'm like it's not the same thing, yeah. it's oh, not I, the I, same I, thing. I read a graphic novels. Oh, those count? Like no. Well, though it depends though. If you're reading Alan Moore, it kind of counts because that's a fucking book. If you've ever okay. picked up like yeah. Watchmen or V for Vendetta, there are literal pages that are just that's writing. Yeah, I've seen yeah, yeah. Wait, no. Okay, so Mona laughs on the channels like that. The best advice for the new generation is it's not about sex, beer, money, and fun. I disagree. <laughs> I want to make all the money so that I can have more sex, beer, and fun. So just be good at Get making money. Yeah, I know, right? Because when you're really rich and powerful, you can oh, lease a wife no, no, or a is, husband. It is about that, he's saying. Oh, yeah. Totally. Yeah, so it yeah, is about... Yeah, oh yeah, no, it's it. totally, it, it totally is about that. You're filming. Yeah, yeah. Beer sex. Beer sex can be interesting. I mean, it can be a little sloppy, but yeah, beer sex is fun. <laughs> Wait, like, beer while having, having sex while drinking beer, or like inserting beer into you as part of a sex thing? Um, I would never do I mean, like, because I've seen people who do, like, shots of vodka up their ass, and I'm like, is this guy yep, do the exactly, same thing? Yep. Oh, that must I be some strong beer. Actually, uh, in their ass and like spraying it out. 
Brady, <laughs> you took it too far. Too far, Brady. No, 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 no. <laughs> we're we're not gonna go there. <laughs> right, we are we already got banned in Germany. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, how about this? My advice for the youth of tomorrow: If you find yourself drunk and chugging a beer up your ass, you should rethink your life choices. There you yeah. go. <laughs> you, something. You like yeah, actually, you probably do. Yeah, you just got to keep it in. But you know, that's. <laughs> a anyways, and I think with that one, we are probably oh. gonna be done with this episode yeah, of Shame Buffet. <laughs> All right, so Vasca, Max, who should get our beautiful old lady this time? Um, mm. oh, I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. Max a ended up getting it last one. Wow. Huh? What? Muno Labs? Oh. Like, hey, yeah, okay. Muno Labs. Uh, after we're done with the show, just stick around a little bit longer so I can give you my info. Get your address, and you get to keep the original piece of art that I was drawing. Yeah, and remember yeah, this old lady forever. <laughs> 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 oh, boy. All right. Um, well, thank you guys for joining us tonight. We will see you next week to catch up on some hilarity or stupid thing that we did. And this has been another episode of Shame Buffet. So let us say goodbye, and thanks to my co-host Vasca at vspodcat on twitter.com and yolti at yolti dragon on twitter.com see you guys next weekend hey, good night Laters. everybody take care